Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton again, and today we're going to look at rounding on a number line, especially when we're trying to round decimals. It can get a little bit tricky, so let's check this out. First, I have my place value chart, which we've checked out earlier, right? So I took my number that I'm going to be rounding. I'm going to be rounding 49 and 985 thousandths on my number line. So the first question I'm going to try to solve is which whole number it's nearest to. So I want to think about if I were counting by ones, those are my whole numbers, right? Or anything to the left of the decimal are whole numbers. I have to think about if I were counting by ones like 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, which two ones 49 and 985 thousandths would fall between. So take a moment to think about that. And you may have said it would fall between 49 and 50, right? So now our job is to place this number 49 and 985 thousandths on the number line, but then what do these little things mean? So we're going to the nearest whole number. So let's check this out. From here to here, it's only adding one, right? Because we are only going to the nearest whole number. So there's only a difference of one there on the number line. So that means each of these must be worth what? A tenth more, right? So 49 and one tenth, 49 and two tenths, and so on, right? So as I'm thinking about um, this number line, I know these things are true, but it's still tricky to place this number on there. So what I might do is I might actually rewrite these with um, place values all the way to the thousands column. So this number line is the exact same as this number line. See how I have 49 and then just no thousands, but I've put it so it's like a little bit more friendly to see where this might go because this is all the way into the thousands, right? All right, so let's check this out. Is the number line still a distance of one from 49 to 50? Is it still a distance of one? I hope so because we are rounding to the nearest whole number. So because it's only the nearest whole number, we only have a distance of one between the two. Um, between the two endpoints, that is. Okay, so let's see. I want to place, oops, I have two of them. I want to place this number, 49 and 985 thousandths, and I want you to think about where you would say stop as I move this along the number line. Okay, so pick out the spot with your eyes where you think it would go. All right. Now let's check this out. Let's move this along the number line and you say stop when you think it should be stopped. Oh, maybe some of you are saying stop right there. That's probably a good spot to think about, right? Because we have 49 and 985 thousandths, and we know that this is 49 and 900 thousandths, and this is just 50, right? So it would go somewhere very close to the 50. Now, on our number line, we have to think about what the middle point is. The middle point really tells us which direction it should round to. So if we chopped this number line in half between 49 and 50, this would be our halfway point, right? 49 and 5 tenths, otherwise known as 49 and 500 thousandths. Same thing. So is this number, 49 and 985 thousandths, is it closer to 50 or is it closer to 49? Well, in this case, it's pretty obvious, right? It's closer to 50. So 50 would be our answer, rounding to the nearest whole number. Um, but we have to know the middle point because the middle point really helps us see, is it to the left or to the right? <clears throat> if it's to the left of that middle point, then it would round here. But since it's all the way over here, it rounds to the 50. 
All right, now that we know all of that, I want you to notice with me that these are just regular number lines. We've seen number lines for all of our years here in um, school, right? So I'm gonna just show you that we can round on a number line this way, but we can also round on a number line going like this. Ooh, let's straighten that out. Okay, so, and how about let's make it a little smaller so we can actually see the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so when I first started with this, I had the number lines written horizontally, but I can also place them vertically. It doesn't change anything in my setup. So I still have to figure out what the end points are. I still have to figure out the middle point. And then um, if it's below the middle point, it rounds down, as you can see, down to 49. And if it's above the middle point, it will round up to the next whole number, which was 50. All right, so let's check out rounding on a number line, but now we're gonna round to the nearest tenth. We're gonna check out the same number, 49 and 985 thousandths. All right, so what digit is in the tenths place? What digit's in the tenths place? You might say a nine, and what is the value of that nine? Well, it's worth nine tenths. All right, kids, I would love for you to draw this out with me. So if you could grab a sheet of paper or a whiteboard, make a number line real quick. Cut it into 10 pieces. All right, everybody hit pause. Go get your stuff. Okay, so we're back. You should have a number line drawn out. Um, and you should have written, we're going to round to the nearest tenth. Okay, so if we were to count by tenths, We'd say 49 and 1 tenth, 49 and 2 tenths, 49 and 3 tenths. We'd keep going and we'd get to 49 and 9 tenths. Okay, what's the next tenth after that? If I were to add one more tenth, I would actually just get to 50. So this number is going to fall between 49 and 9 tenths and actually 50. So you probably realized that um, there's only a distance, let's check this out again, there's only a distance of one-tenth from here to here because we are literally rounding to the nearest tenth. So we only have a distance of one-tenth on the number line. I could write it like that or I could write it like that. Same thing, right? All right, so between these, 49 and 9 tenths, what would we have here? Go ahead and fill it in on your sheet of paper, 49 and 9 tenths. And we'd have 49 and, well, we could write 91 hundredths. So we could block, um, we could block this zero out for a second and just think about it as 49 and 91 hundredths. Um, but I like to add the zero on there because my number that I'm going to be rounding has a um, a place all the way to the thousand. So I just filled it in like that, just for my own eyes. Okay, so then let's check out our next numbers. And I want you to write this in on your number line too. So hit pause right now because you're going to need a, a moment to write in all of these numbers. All right, everybody hit pause. All right. Hopefully you've unpaused and we're back together. And I want you to think about what's the midpoint on this number line. So the midpoint would be the halfway point between here and here. Well, halfway, just chop it in half. We know the halfway point is going to be 49 and 950 thousandths, otherwise known as 49 and 95 hundredths, right? Okay, so that's going to just help us find which one it's closer to. 49 and 9 tenths are 40, uh, or 50. So one of these two end points will be our answer. All right, so I'm going to put the number over here. I want you to find a spot with your eyes so that you can say stop when you think I'm getting to the right spot. Here we go. <laughs> Wrong one. Let me, lock, let me lock that down, otherwise it'll probably go again. Okay, it's locked now. Here we go.
Ah, some of you are probably yelling I've passed it. Okay, how about right here? Okay, so you probably said it's right there. And why? Why would you say to place it there? Maybe you would say to place it right there because this is 49 and 980 thousandths, and you know 985 thousandths would fall between this number and this number. So we'll go right there. All right, so we can clearly see it's going to fall to the right of the midpoint. So 49 and 985 thousandths is closer to 50 then it would be woo, way over there, right? It's obviously much closer to 50. All right, so if we were to turn this on its side again, you could probably imagine that would go away, right? And I would just turn this and I would make the number line go up and down. So you could see that if I turned it again, you could see that this number would round up to 50 on the number line, right? That's why we say round up, because usually the number lines are shown like this horizontally, but we can actually flip them vertically. All right, guys, I hope this helped. See you next time. Bye.